Well, howdy. You've been gone forever. Good to see you. Just about to start a new project. Motorcycle, been able to ride it around most of the summer. But uh, due to the riding, we're about uh, done here on the rear tire. Every ounce of that tire, every ounce of that rubber is an ounce of fun. And just about use it all up. But it's not all gone. So I'm thinking to get it all done, to get all the fun out of it, burn out till broke. Why don't you join me? the new tires got the rear tire off making progress there this guy I have to make a tool for I don't own a large enough Allen key for that but the Empire dirt prevails I do have a bolt that fits that just perfectly so weld up this nut now I have a tool That's why you buy yourself a welder and learn to weld. You can make the tools you need if you don't own them yet. Here's what we got. Not welded on the bolt. Should be good to go. I know for the observant of you, continuity error, no more green sleeves. But it is a hot day. And I'm sparing you because there's something else I'm not wearing. Well, seems like I'm twisting my bolt. The uh, key clamp is uh, removed. Got that removed. Go for broke. And she broke. <laughs> Twist the nut right off. All right. Uh, we'll try something else. All right, we got 2.0. A lot more welding, a lot less shaft, so hopefully this nice big chunk won't won't give way. But it might round. Son of a adjective. Rounded right over. This is turning into a pain. Why are you so stubborn? Hmm. Well, I can always grind it down to a different size. This is holding fine inside the chuck. Huh. Try and try some more. All right, Let's see if third time's the charm. Got a bigger, uh, bigger knot on there, so I have more lateral connection instead of a very thin, the thinner guy that rounded off on me, so. If I can get this to work, awesome, I've made a tool. If not, I'm going to call quits and go to the store and buy the right thing because it's like a $15 tool and if I go and send the bike in, it's a $45 problem for somebody else. So it is definitely worth worth the little bit of investment. I was hoping to just get this done with time, but we shall see. This is attempt number three. And I did fall back and check the forums 
and it's not reverse threaded so it just yeah, there we go yeah just need a little more persuasion going to pay for that welder $15 tools at a time yes and she's free all right now for part two make this somebody else's problem well today turned into tomorrow and yesterday's problems are still here but at least the new tires are already mounted got these back about an hour ago from the shop so now all we gotta do is put them on the bike and they should be ready to roll all right, quick update. Got the uh, front tire almost mounted. It's in place. It's looking good. I'm liking that heavier tread. Finally be able to do some decent trail riding. End up having to take the uh, top splash guard off just because this tire is actually a little bit taller than the factory uh, recommendation, but it'll give me the uh, better grip up front than the small skinny. So it's a fair trade-off. Just going to have to modify some brackets to have that thing set a little bit higher. These, here's the factory mounting point. I'm going to probably have to raise it up about an inch or so just so the uh, the collar comes flush with these uh, struts. But yeah, raise it up a little bit, make some room for modifications, and then had to take the caliper off. Didn't have to remove the caliper for removal of the tire, but the caliper had to come off to get the tire back in place just because the the rubber being a little thicker wasn't want to, want to get around everything but slowly but surely uh we'll get it done i'm sweating working hard but uh good kind of work so uh this is the kind of hard work you get to do that you get to play with later so can't complain about that or at least i won't so I'm gonna get back at it and i'll give you an update as i make more progress <laughs> until testing period so I got the uh, rear tire and everything mounted up front tire is good so now it's time to kick it off the center stand and give it a ride around the backyard with uh, you know whenever you do any any critical work and this is literally where the rubber meets the road it's always good to take getting the bike back on the road slowly so ride it around the backyard for a bit make sure everything handles fine no clumps make sure everything's tightened up where it should be which it should uh, then if it's not acting right, then bring it in for adjustment. If it is acting right, I'll take it out to uh, a uh, parking lot up the way, run it through some more paces, get everything ready. Basically, take it slowly because this, uh, this is a big safety thing. And Whenever you're doing this kind of work, just making sure you do it right because it's your life. You're the one, uh, you're the one betting on you. And most of the time, I, have no, I, mean, I have no problem doing that. I'm confident in my capabilities and my skill sets that I've developed over the years, but taking it slow and taking it deliberately is a part of how you stay safe. It's not just can you do the work, but are you are you looking at the full picture? And uh, like I said, this is where the rubber meets the road. The wheels could literally fall off this thing. All the quintessential bad stuff that you joke about, this is that job. So, uh, yeah. It's fun work. It's uh, good work to do, uh, especially maintaining your own stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm going to just do that now. Not too far. So with motorcycles and many other areas of life, 
managing risk is just part of the whole picture. Uh, I grew up riding motorcycles, was taught by my father back in high school. And the exercise you see me practicing here is actually one he had me uh, working on the first day I was on two wheels. That's just me working the bike up and down the curb while uh, weaving in through those posts. It's uh, a skill set that oughtn't, shouldn't, and you hope to ought not use often. Uh, being able to jump a curb, but it is something that is part of managing the risk while riding. And uh, just part of the overall mindset of managing the risk, instead of being fearful of it, or uh, trying to avoid it completely. Because regardless of if it's a motorcycle or anything else you enjoy pursuing in life, there's risk innate in almost all circumstances. And if you put a focus on just trying to remove it, uh, you'll fool yourself. You'll that's that's the only conclusion that'll ever happen is you'll fool yourself and lull yourself into a false sense of security where the uh, the truth of the matter is is your safety and security uh, is your responsibility and taking an active active role in developing skill sets an active role in looking uh, at the whole picture taking the time to evaluate it and choose what risks you do and do not want to take is all part of that um, Practicing skill sets of mobility and motorcycles is how you stay safe on a motorcycle. But there are fundamentals and uh, active rules we can all do and take part of in various things we all find ourselves uh, having responsibilities over, whether that's personal finance or managing your home and other structures that you you have as part of your own life. As well as remembering that everything we know was taught to us. We have opportunities to learn in this life we've been given and a part of that is overcoming yourself in the areas in which you know you have developed and that's why we have the motto Vincit Crise Vincit